take on the Bridgeport Purple Knights. Howdy basketball fans, Jeremy Huber here with you. UDC, of course, with the first two losses of this losing streak, both last second games, Malloy buzzer beater loss, Queens a late foul, allowed them to shoot the game winning free throw, then two blowouts against Roberts, Wesley and, and Damon where Coach Mike Riley admits his team did not play up to their best, hoping for a better performance tonight. Again, Bridgeport, a team who this year was a favorite to win the ECC, but lost their standout point guard, Devon Trumbo, to a season-ending injury. They've been trying to find themselves moving forward. They're at 5-4 and four in conference play, UDC at 2 and seven. Let's take a look at your starting lineups for the Purple Knights under the leadership of Mike Ruan, their coach out of Alvernia College. Start the backcourt, number four, Travis Robinson Morgan, six foot, 175 pound sophomore out of Elmont, New York. Also in the backcourt, it is a guard, number 20, Eric Rankin, six four, 200 pound senior from the Bronx. Also at a guard spot, number 11, Jaden Itermendi, 6'6", 180-pound freshman from York, Pennsylvania. Two forwards in the lineup for Bridgeport. It's number 21, Hashem Abbas, 6'6", 215, sophomore from Nabulus, Palestine. And number 23, Vakas Iqbal, 6'9", 210, senior from Staten Island, New York. As for UDC, they'll go with their traditional four-guard lineup. Number one, Quadir Truesdale at the point, six foot, 175, senior from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Number three, Kerry Kirkwood, 5'10", 170, junior from Neptune, New Jersey. Also at guard spots, number 23 is Zachary Olakani, 6'4", 195, junior from Teaneck, New Jersey. Number 24, Kevin Cox, the 6'3", 192, senior from Lauriston, Curacao, Grenada. And in the middle will be number 10, Aaron Smith, 6'6", 210, junior from Ellicott City, Maryland, by way of Rutgers. Let's look at your starting lineups in this one. Again, big game here for UDC trying to avenge a loss up in Connecticut, 88 to 72, where that game was tied with 5.38 left to go. Wanye Cologne with a big three-pointer, then Bridgeport went on an 18-2 run. The Firebirds hoping for something different this time around. UDC trying to scratch and claw late in this season. Again, just the start of the second half of conference play. So there's still a lot of games to go. UDC coming awful close to having a much better season so far, but currently they are tied for eighth place in the ECC. Remember, season ended today. They'd be out of playoff contention. Smith turned around the lane. That one well short. May have got a piece of the arm. This Bridgeport team plays extremely fast. You see an example of it right there as Rankin puts that one home for a quick 2-0 lead. Mike Riley telling me, look, if we turn the ball over this game, we have no chance. Bridgeport, a team that presses all the time. They'll press off even made baskets. Love to turn you over. That's something the Firebirds can't do today. That won't go down for Truesdale. And and they'll speed you up just from the pace they play. Mike Riley saying, look, we got to make baskets. Slow them down a little bit. Truesdale almost steals that one intended for Iqbal. And that game earlier this year on, actually last year, December 5th, UDC turned it over 20 times in that game. Bridgeport turned it over just 13. But. Abbas passed down low, shot almost blocked, but getting it up and good was Itermendi. Smith converts. Bridgeport. Talk about their scoring prowess on this two-game winning streak. Shot is no good as Cox comes down with the rebound. He scored 135 against LIU Post. That's a school record in a 135-80 win. Smith thought about the baseline jumper. That one knocked away. Ends up back with Kirkwood. 
Still 15 seconds to go on the shot clock. Last win was against NYIT. They scored 100, 102 to be exact, in a 102-88 win. Cox, corner three, count it. So the three-pointer by Cox. Pass down low, score it for Iqbal. That'll stay with UDC. Coming at you fast and furious, and Mike Riley already going to the bench. And Bridgeport, a little deeper roster, though, right now, so they only have 11 in uniform today, so. Of course, that ends up in Cox's hands. No good on the three-point attempt. Olakani comes up with the rebound and draws the foul on Robinson Morgan. And UDC with 10 players in uniform. Of course, there are that many on the roster. But the ones on the roster do play a good bit. Knocked away, Intermendi. Hands it back. Three-pointer from the corner, no good for Iqbal, and an offensive foul going the other way on Intermendi. Intermendi out of William Penn High School. That's kicked out of play. And not sure if that is the school that is the school of you know, fan of the Goldbergs TV show on ABC, William Penn Academy. That's based on a real school in the Philadelphia area. Take it away, Kirkwood. Not a great pass. Leads to a three-point opportunity. No good. Big rebound by Cox and thrown away. And that is exactly what the Bridgeport pressure will do to you. Make you see some ghosts, and Cox just trying to get rid of it before you get tied up. Gives it off to Olakani, but Olakani not ready for it. Wasn't really even looking at his teammate. Little subs into the game already for Bridgeport. Down the lane and good for John Middleton. Almost stolen away again. Cox up ahead. Adams has it taken away by Middleton. An offensive foul on Adams going down the other way. Looked like he might have a layup instead. Foul called on the big man and Middleton taking a while to get up. I think he might have gotten hit below the belt as he looks at the official and just gives the universal nod of yeah, I'm okay, just give me a second. So Adams will leave and Smith comes back in. And it'll be a 30 second timeout. That's an interesting call by Mike Ruan. As it appeared, we would be getting close to the media timeout, but instead, Coach Ruan takes the timeout and must have seen something he didn't like from his team. Maybe on their pressure setup. So three point lead for Bridgeport. Again, this game in Mike Riley's estimation all about turnovers. So far, UDC already with four to zero for Bridgeport. Again, Purple Knights in the purple. Their women's team wore black in their three-point loss to the UDC women earlier today. Firebirds in the gray. An offensive foul on Abbas on the screen as Olakani fought through it hard. And able to draw the foul. Hashim Abbas. He's 
coach, Mike Ruon, saying about his big man, just a tough guy and mature. And again, UDC having trouble just passing the ball, low passes. Saw there Bridgeport pressing on an out of bounds play from the sideline. Kirkwood can't hit. Smith can't get the rebound. It's pulled in by Green. Green left wide open for three. That barely draws rim. Saved in bounds, batted around, and Cox comes away with it. Truesdale back to the middle. Olakani almost walks, and he does. That's a tough play. And that's going to bring us to the media timeout. So Bridgeport, after the early flurry by UDC with the three-point lead. Since opening its doors in 2009, the University of the District of Columbia Community College continuously affirms its mission to provide opportunities for students to obtain the requisite skills of today's workforce and to prepare them for the demands of tomorrow. For more information, visit the UDC website at www.udc.edu. Early 8-5 lead for Bridgeport. Glad to have you along in our nation's capital tonight for this ECC action. UDC, again, five turnovers, just one for Bridgeport. Good thing is so far for UDC, we've limited Bridgeport's fast break points, none so far always an issue when you turn the ball over. Iqbal walks as Cox playing a good defensive game so far. And plays like that against the bigger Iqbal. But also he has four rebounds. Shan beats the pressure, Smith converts. UDC show a little bit of pressure look at first and drop out of it. Down the lane, no good, a foul will be called as Smith picks it up. And the hack on green. That's big, Smith. Can't afford to be in foul trouble in this game, you would think, just by the pace of it. Obviously, he'll need some breaks, but you would think that Smith, a big who can score in transition, especially when Bridgeport's pressure is beaten, Smith knocks down both. We just saw in that last possession, Smith able to score a layup in transition. That pass, Shan able to track it down. Looked like Truesdale had an opening somewhere else, but tried for that lob in, almost turned it over again. Truesdale in trouble, finds Cologne, open look from three, misses everything, put back no good, but again, Cox is there, and the undersized guard who kind of acts as a forward for this team Ends up drawing another foul. This one on John Middleton. Yeah, Cox just 6'3", but does so many of those forward type things that allows Mike Riley to play him out there with other guards. Doesn't really have to go two bigs against most teams in the ECC. Because Cox is such a proficient rebounder. And you'll see it here where really he's going with a five guard lineup. 
Cox knocks down the second free throw and makes it a two-point game. And Olakani takes the foul. That is the one issue for UDC. And Mike Riley didn't say that his team would press that much because of the fact that Bridgeport likes to play extremely up-tempo. And we've seen it a few times already. It's led to open looks. This time, though, Babas shuffles the feet and we try to make a move to the post. Like Ruan telling his big man, shoot that. One of those things that Bridgeport, they want to get shots up quickly. They're looking to pay at a certain pace. And even if it's not a perfect shot, they'd rather take that than waiting for the perfect shot and slowing the game down. Olakani down the lane, strong move, gets it to fall. We're all tied up at 10 off the layup by Zach Olakani. Mendy almost slips down. Instead, keeps the dribble alive. Green down the lane, up and good. Olakani well, had to lay off a little bit. He already has one foul. Kirkwood might have had a drive to the bucket as he was able to cross over his defender. Kirkwood down the lane, he scores, excuse me, Shan with the bucket. That may be the key right now, dribble penetration in the half court for UDC. Bridgeport having trouble staying in front. There's Cologne to get the pass. Up ahead, Olakani had numbers for a second, he'll take it in anyway, contact no good. And it'll be dribbled out of bounds off of Iqbal. Stays with UDC. Green checks out. Middleton back in. Back to Cologne. That no good. Give it back to him again. Cologne thought about it. Instead, Kirkwood dishes. Good ball movement. Shan takes the three. No good. Stolen away by Kirkwood. Olakani looking for Cologne in the corner. Ends up out off Intermendi. Onye Cologne, we know how he can heat up. Cologne pull up in the lane, no good. Rebound by Smith, that one doesn't fall. Right now, UDC getting good shots, just can't get them to fall. Three-pointer, no good. Abbas on the season, 28% from three, so not a foreign shot to him. Cologne, Smith. Tries to save it in, could have just let it go out of bounds. Instead, going to lead to a layup at the other end. Almost a three-point play. Middleton with the bucket. Back out. Cologne for three. Good. There it is, the first of hopefully many for Wanye Cologne tonight. And UDC up by a point. Shan really trying to take that ball away. Pull up jumper, and it will be on the fl oh, offensive foul. Wow. They'll wave off the Robinson Morgan bucket and instead call the offensive foul. I believe on, I don't know who, I thought the official put up a two. I was going to say 2 0. I'm going to make sure they get this right, but it looks like the foul will go on Rankin. That'll bring us to our media timeout. As UDC has come storming back, they lead by a point, 15 to 14. At the University of the District of Columbia, the entire city is our campus. 
from the new community college and workforce development programs to the extension services and more, the university is active in every ward of the city, educating and enriching the lives of students, neighbors, and stakeholders. For more information, visit the UDC website at www.udc.edu. UDC with a one-point lead. Struggled early with the pressure from Bridgeport, but a lot better that time through. Pass down low, Ola Kani able to score over Abbas. Got to beat that pressure for buckets if they give them to you. Sometimes pressing teams will do that. They'd rather give up an easy bucket every once in a while, but keep that pace going. That time, Middleton knocks down the three. Back to a tie at 17. Middleton with seven. He's your leading scorer so far. Smith thought about the three instead, drives it in, has it stripped from behind. And that will go on Rankin. That'll be his second, so let's see if Mike Gruon leaves him out there. Rankin, one of many players on this team, to score in double figures. Two-shot foul for Smith. That one goes down. Smith, 86% free throw shooter. Rankin leaves. Abon Sanchez in. Smith second falls home as well. Again, look how quickly Bridgeport gets down the court. If you are not paying attention and hustling, they will make you pay for it. Kirkwood blocks the shot. Olakani. Dishes off, contact not called, Kirkwood scores anyway. UDC hustling their way through. No good, batted around. Good rebound by Cox, and this time smartly waits until he gets a free path to give over to a friendly. As Truesdale takes it across the timeline. Smith in the lane, tough one. Olakani gets it, no good. A lot of contact. They're letting him play tonight, folks. Shot blocked by Truesdale, kept alive. Spin in the lane, and that will fall. It's Hermendi with the bucket. Now it looks like Bridgeport, after getting burned a few times on that pressure, they're pulling out of it. Trying to play a little more solid defense, at least for a while. Olakani off the glass. Court pass to Bon Sanchez. Back to Abbas. Stripped away and thrown away. And Mike Riley just kind of turns his head away. That's at least the second time his team playing a little too fast. You have the rebound secured. You're trying to slow things down on Bridgeport a bit. You don't have to get the quick outlet, especially if your teammate's not even looking at you. 
Three-pointer, contact, again, nothing called, and these officials letting them play tonight. Robinson Morgan will leave. And pressure. Kirkwood, no good, tapped out. Olakani saves it, doesn't look where he's saving it to. And it leads to a layup, a foul on the layup. Let's see what they're going to call as Green goes down. I'm going to have to sort this one out. That'll go on Cox on the push. Mike Riley, I think, just telling his guys, look, we've got to play smarter than this. We don't want to force the issue. That last play where chance to save it, and Truesdale was there without anyone in his way. But it was just kind of a blind flip over the shoulder, which Green was able to jump into the lane and take it away. Mike Riley wants to make sure his guys know, look, yeah, we're going to run if they give it to us, but we don't need to force the issue here. Second one will fall through as well for Green. So now he has six. Back to a two-point game. Almost taken away. Green's going to take a three. No good. And actually saved in bounds. Pass ahead. Intermendi off the glass. Wild shot. Here comes Truesdale. All the way to the bucket, and it goes. Looked like Truesdale was going to pass that one away the entire time. Finally found a seam and got it to go off the glass. on the block, spin, no good, but Iqbal fouled on the play as Cox picks up his second, and that will bring us to the media timeout. UDC with a four-point lead with 7.35 left to go in our opening half. The University of the District of Columbia is the only public university in the nation's capital and the only urban land-grant university in the United States. UDC is comprised of UDC Community College, School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, School of Business and Public Administration, College of Arts and Sciences, College of Agriculture, Urban Sustainability and Environmental Sciences, and the David A. Clark School of Law. Twenty-five, twenty-one. UDC with the lead on Bridgeport. Remember, Firebirds trying to avenge a loss earlier in the season, 88-72 at Bridgeport. UDC had a lead at the half of that one. We're tied with just over five and a half minutes to go before Bridgeport went on an 18-2 run to close out the game. Also, UDC after dropping some games at Seem winnable. That one falls. 
they're really in danger of letting the ECC race get away from them. As Iqbal hits two from the line and back to a two-point game. Again, that buzzer beater against Malloy and then a close loss to Queens where a foul was called late. Queens won it on a free throw. Flip those two around. UDC is currently tied for sixth place. Remember, top six get in the ECC playoffs. Smith, everybody blocked that one, but Green unable to save it in bounds. Next Bridgeport foul puts UDC in the bonus. Three seconds to go, knocked out of bounds, but just one second left on the shot clock. Firebirds really weren't cognizant of it. They got a catch and shoot here. They say it didn't get off in time as Truesdale almost hit it. But truthfully, you're gonna have a shot clock violation. That's the type you want, dead ball. Bridgeport has to inbound it. You can set your defense against them instead of letting them get out and run, which they're so good at. Easy layup as Rankin back in the game with two fouls, knocked that one down, and we're all tied up. If you're Mike Riley, you like the pace that you've got Bridgeport playing at right now. Dan, all the way in, no good. Gets his own rebound, contact, no good. Tap back attempt, no good. So UDC and then Shan called for the foul, trying to go for the ball. He goes and pats Rankin on the head. He says, sorry, my bad man. And I think Rankin still looking for a flagrant foul there, but gives Dap, taking Shan to his word that He's just trying to go for the ball. And UDC, they've seen this game being called pretty liberally so far, though we do have a lot of fouls, but a lot more could have been called. They're playing up to the physical challenge here. So Bridgeport with a chance to take the lead here. Ramon Sanchez, Iqbal on the block. Spin in the lane, that will get the English and go down for Rankin. And again, issues down low. And is it going to go in Rankin? Rankin with the bucket. Huh. Warning of some sort. Looked like there was a foul assessed. So. Truesdale goes for the scoop and gets it to go. Quadir Truesdale, a magician on that play. Up on Sanchez, has it blocked. Smith came over with the defense. Olakani down the lane. He'll be fouled and have a chance to put UDC back on top. So it looks like Green picked up that foul in the last play. It might have been on Shan. Bolakani can't hit. So Green picks up the foul there as he was pleading his case. Lacani gets that one to go, and UDC back with a one-point lead. Right now, UDC matching Bridgeport's points in the paint with 18 apiece. 
One or three for Rankin off the iron, no good. Cologne gets the board and had to save it, almost went out of bounds. Olakani stops in the lane, puts it up, gets it to go. You better come strong today as there's a lot of contact down low, but Olakani does and gets the board. Here's Shan taking it away. Shan all the way in, hits the underside of the bucket. Pabon Sanchez, credit him, just stayed with him and made it a tougher shot. But Shan just picked his pocket, wasn't paying attention. Intermendi for three, no good. And foul will go against Bridgeport and Abbas. He can't believe it, but there was a lot of contact on the board. And Abbas will pick up his second. So Shand, the aggrieved party, he'll step to the line. Danny on the year, a 70% free throw shooter. So Rankin will leave with his two fouls. Middleton comes back in. Abbas stays in for now. Shane can't hit it. To be big in this game, you would think. There'll be a lot of fouls just from the aggressive way this one's going to be played. Got to hit those free throws. Point lead for UDC. Shan gets it this time. He'll take it in. Again, misses the layup, and then Olakani picks up the foul. That'll take us to the media timeout. Danny Shan gets the arm around him from Wanye Cologne. Two chances to score, and the Garf UDC can't convert. Mike Riley keeping his spirits up as well. Firebirds with a three-point lead on the Purple Knights as we head to our media timeout. University of the District of Columbia extends beyond its campus footprint, offering easy access to world-famous monuments, political intrigue, and cultural attractions everywhere you look. Education at UDC opens doors to opportunities that can only be found in the nation's capital. For more information, visit the UDC website at www.udc.edu. Three-point advantage for UDC. Firebirds will put a lineup of Cologne, Kirkwood, Truesdale, Olakani, and Smith out. For Bridgeport, it's Pabo and Sanchez, Intermendi, along with Green, Abbas, and Middleton. Pabo and Sanchez at the line for a one and one. He's an 81% free throw shooter on the season, but misses this one. The missed foul shot's contagious right now to UDC's benefit. Credit the Firebirds. This one's been played at their tempo so far. Long three, no good for Cologne. No look pass underneath to Green for the layup. What a play by Pabon Sanchez. So one point lead for UDC. Now Truesdale takes the long three. That one goes down. But here Truesdale gets the open look. And again, Bridgeport trying to push that tempo. They didn't want to mess around on the backcourt. Three-pointer, front rim, no good. Truesdale gets bumped into by Middleton, who took the original shot. So a lot of fouls now on some key players for Bridgeport. We're going to talk about this one.
officials getting together. So Middleton picks up the foul. Couple subs in as UDC will go with a couple of bigs. As Isaiah Robinson comes in. Free throw good for Truesdale. Truesdale second off the front rim, no good. Again, Abbas out in front and can't hit the layup. Batted around, keeps it alive. Abbas out of bounds, and it'll be off Bridgeport. But you got to hustle back. Bridgeport beating UDC down the court a few times. Sweat on the ball. Mike Riley will help out. Two forty-two left to go in the half. Kirkwood back in after a very short break. Right now, Mike Riley doing a great job here controlling this game. He and his team, really. Shan going to take the foul line jumper. Probably not the shot they wanted. Middleton has his shot blocked, but foul will be committed. By Truesdale. Middleton misses the shot. Middleton, 39% from three point range, is Coach Mike Ruan. Saying that he's a great shooter, but he's got to develop that all-around game and needs to find shots within our offense. They're there. Intermendi able to get the board. He's fouled and will go to the line. Mike Riley just can't believe it. Robinson picks the foul up. And have as good of a box out as his coach would have liked. Tremendi knocks the free throw down. And Tremendi, six foot six, versatile player according to his coach, but Tremendi violation as saw he was missing it, took off too quickly. We'll get one of two. Good thing for UDC in this game is they have so many guys who kind of profile as point guards. Really helps them against pressure. All these guys trusted to bring the ball up. Truesdale again, another quick shot. That's not the way that UDC has been in this game. They've really penetrated and found open looks that way. Haven't settled for jump shots last two times down, though, they have. Kick ball. Tries to go off the glass, can't do it. Shan corrals the rebound. And Shan gets it across, take a timeout, and it's going to be a 30. So the question here for Mike Riley is, is this a substitution timeout, or is this a, hey, guys, remember how we've got a lead in this game by smartly taking the clock down, being... Smart when it comes to getting the right shot for really some dribble penetration, some threes, but right now UDC is 3 of 11 from three point land, but it seemed like a lot of forces from out there. They've gotten into the paint. They actually leading the much bigger Bridgeport squad 23 to 20 in points in the paint, so. Not 
95 seconds to go in our first half. Remember, UDC held a halftime lead against Bridgeport last time before the Purple Knights had a big second half to pull away and make it a route, which really came late in the second half. Cologne down low, nice look, slam for Smith. The development of a freshman, Wanye Cologne started this season really just a spot up shooter there, puts it on the deck, draws the defense, and able to go ahead and get his big man a look, and there's a steal by Cologne. He's hustling down, will they feed him? Shan dishes Truesdale out, Kirkwood back to the top. Cologne, dribble three, no good. Tap attempt by Smith, no good. Pass ahead. Pull up in transition for three, count it. Swing there by Robinson Morgan. His first bucket of the game. Kirkwood with numbers, kick ball, Robinson Morgan hustling down the court. Big swing there, looked like UDC might extend their lead out, instead ends up that transition three. <laughs> 11 second difference, shot to game, clock. Shan looking down low and knocked out of bounds off the hands of Middleton. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Kirkwood to inbound. Kirkwood shoveled back and a foul will be called on Robinson Morgan. And that will be the 10th team foul on Bridgeport. So now two shots for Kirkwood. Mike Riley looking down at his bench, making sure there's not a defensive sub he wants in, but Kirkwood rattles that one home. Another choice might be Stansel, but already have the two bigs out there and Smith and Robinson. Kirkwood, back iron, no good. Four-point advantage. Robinson Morgan, directing traffic. Middleton, a lot of contact, no good. UDC has a chance here. Kirkwood, down the court, got to get open. Puts it up at the buzzer, and good! Terry Kirkwood! He had to get through the traffic. Kirkwood does and gives all the momentum to UDC as we head to the half. 40 to 33, UDC up on Bridgeport, but remember, Purple Knights came back from a halftime deficit last time. We'll see if Mike Riley's crew could avoid that fate this time around. Come back in about 15 minutes, folks. We'll have our second half action, but a seven point lead for UDC as we head to the break.
Welcome back to our nation's capital as UDC with a 40 to 33 lead on Bridgeport as we start the second half. Interestingly, no double figure scores in the opening 20 minutes. Zachary Olakani led all scores with nine. Quadir Truesdale and Aaron Smith each with eight. Eight points for Dennis Smith. And a foul call down low. Wow, that was a late call. Foul on the body goes on Smith. Luckily, just his second as it sends Rankin to the line. I'll correct myself, Dennis Green with the eight points as Rankin now has seven as he knocks down that free throw. John Middleton had seven in the opening half. Interesting numbers, those turnovers that UDC was keeping an eye on. Just nine in the first half. Remember, they had an early five, really four, I believe, in the first, for the first media timeout. While Bridgeport already has 10. So credit UDC with really playing a smart game so far. Smith's going to take a three here. That's no good. But Olakani chases down the rebound. Mike Riley, you tell your big man, look, I know you can shoot it, but I prefer if you don't. Cox will take the long three, and he cans it. Kevin Cox. Pass ahead. Intermendi back out. Three-pointer, no good, and a strong rebound by Cox. Off the missed shot by Abbas. Olakani, nice dish. Smith. Gets fouled on his way in by Intermendi. And he'll go to the line. Intermendi, the freshman out of York, Pennsylvania, in the starting lineup. His second foul. And Smith at the stripe. Rattles that one home. The second goes down. Of course, big weapon for this UDC team when he's playing well. He really gives them another dimension. Big ball. Spins around. Tough shot. Won't fall. Gets the rebound on the loose ball. Can't hit that either. Still batted around. Chance for numbers here for UDC. Olakani tries to dribble through traffic. And tie up. And that stays with UDC, but Mike Riley not happy. Again, that's kind of been a point of emphasis, I think, tonight for his team. Said, look, we don't want to play to their speed. If you don't have anything, pull it back out. We'll set up our defense. Olakani, I think, just got that face-to-face -face from Coach Riley. If you don't have it at the bucket, we don't need to force the issue. Big solid screen there. Back to Olakani. Has it taken away, but Robinson Morgan called for the foul. He gets stared down by the official. That's a long stare down, and I know it. One of my other jobs with American University, we see him a lot. So he's a D1 level official, and he is not going to take a vociferous reaction from another player. That's almost thrown away, and UDC gets lucky on that one. Looked like Olakani doing just as much holding as Green was, but it goes the Firebirds way. It passes. That's one thing you really have to watch out for if you're UDC. You can't throw a pass that's going to lead to a easy, fast break the other way for Bridgeport. You're going to miss. Miss small. Something where your guys are there that can either take it back away or at least make them dribble a few times and finally get going. Green. That's just how quickly they get down the court. 
Abbas has it blocked by Smith, who can't get it back, but Olakani ends up with it. No numbers, he'll take it in anyway, and still scores. One on four, timeout, Bridgeport, it'll be a full. We'll take it as well, as UDC has come out of the gate on fire with a 12-point lead. And Olakani with the bucket for 11 points. Since opening its doors in 2009, the University of the District of Columbia Community College continuously affirms its mission to provide opportunities for students to obtain the requisite skills of today's workforce and to prepare them for the demands of tomorrow. For more information, visit the UDC website at www.udc.edu. Still plenty of time left in this game, but UDC hungry for a win after losing four straight. The first two of those, just heartbreaking losses. Lost on a buzzer beater against Malloy. It's currently tied for the top spot in the conference. And then they go ahead and commit a last second foul against Queens, it leads to the game winning free throw. currently on a 10-2 run. Three-pointer canned by Green. It was contested, but still goes down. Mike Ruan. Got the coat off, trying to get his guys back into this. Green grabbed at his quad. Looks like he's hurting a little bit. Kick ball on Abbas. That'll reset the shot clock to 20 seconds. And patience has been a virtue for UDC today. Done a pretty good job, again, of playing this one at their tempo. Not really forcing shots. As Cox will take the long three, that's a bit of a force there, but luckily kind of kicked off to the side and Green's really laboring. Still making plays as he kicks it off to Intermendi. Back out. Abbas gets away with the chicken wing, and now they'll call a foul on UDC. Wow. It very well might have been a foul on Smith, but he definitely used that off arm to go ahead and hook the defender, and the baseline official didn't see it. You can see it from up here. Abbas, his coach calls him a mature player. That's a mature move, especially when you get away with it. Abbas with his first point of the game. He averages 11 per contest. Has a chance to cut into this lead even more. And he does, so seven point lead for UDC. That's what they had at the break on the half court heave by Kerry Kirkwood. Abbas checks out. Again. It's interesting that Green stays out there. It looks like he's really hurting. He's making some subs, he's just not one of them. Cox back out, Smith will get the three pointer and it's good. So the big man proving me wrong. His first three pointer of the game and back out to a 10 point advantage for UDC. Green 
has it taken away. Kirkwood finally comes away with it. Pass ahead. Cox hangs in the air, doesn't fall, and dribbled out of bounds. It'll be off UDC. And that'll bring us to the media timeout. 10-point lead for the Firebirds, 50-40 to 40 over Bridgeport. At the University of the District of Columbia, the entire city is our campus. From the new community college and workforce development programs to the extension services and more, the university is active in every ward of the city, educating and enriching the lives of students, neighbors, and stakeholders. For more information, visit the UDC website at www.udc.edu. See off to a strong start here in the second half. Aaron Smith has 13 points. Zach Olakani with 11. Smith had 11 last time out against Damon. Again, he has had some very good games this year. He's had some somewhat mediocre games this year. But today is one of his better ones against a quality team in Bridgeport. Up on Sanchez, nice feed, shots blocked though by Olakani. What reaction? Three on two, Truesdale back, in, counted, and the foul. UDC sharing the basketball, and Zach Olakani able to put it home off the feed by Truesdale. Mike Riley said, look, my guys have had some good practices after two pretty bad games. Two blowout losses where he said, look, my guys just didn't play well. And, you know, he didn't use this as an excuse, but you have to wonder when you lose two games like they did at the buzzer, that's got to take something out of you. As Olakani makes that free throw, just making it tough when, again, this is a program trying to get over the hump a bit in the, ECC after a tough year last year. That'll go down and Green looking for a foul and might want to watch himself. But tough year and good start to the season and struggling in conference play. Those two wins go your way. You're looking around 500. Smith almost has it taken away, now does. Ebon Sanchez got a hand in. Abbas got a mismatch. Here comes the double. Going to leave an open man. Green gets the good look. Can't hit it. Tap back. Goes to Kirkwood. Kirkwood ahead to Olakani. Dish off. Smith can't get the bunny. Second chance. Contact. Puts a third one up. That one won't go down. And out ahead is Green. And he'll go in on Cox. Gets the bucket. And foul coming as well. Bad sequence there for UDC as three close chances. Sometimes you say, hey guys, go off the backboard. That's what it's there for. Smith couldn't get him to go down. That's a big swing in this game as Green gets it to fall. Green adds to his total, finally comes out. He's been limping for the last five or ten minutes. Smith comes out. Cox picks up the foul, his third. An eight-point advantage. It's Mike Ruon down on a knee, trying to get his guys. Right now, they've kind of backed out of that pressure. Once UDC gets the ball in the first time, they have haven't really kept it on. Foul be called. Matt 
goes on Robinson Morgan. And that is his fourth foul. Wow. Acrobatic shot by Shan. Puts it back to 10 points. Habon Sanchez down the lane, can't hit. Follow dunk attempt, no good. But a foul down low, and that'll go on Adams. And Solo Adams picks up just his first. That won't fall as Iqbal can't get it to go. So Cologne will check back in. Robinson Morgan out. Cox comes out with three fouls. Rankin back in. Iqbal's second will go. See if Bridgeport turns up that pressure a bit. Interesting mismatch here. Iqbal on Shan. Now they go, look like they were going for a half court trap. Alley oop, it's no good. And Olakani can't get the rebound, tries to take it away. Rankin has it swiped by Truesdale. Truesdale. Over to Cologne, back out top, and now Shan will slow it down. Smart play by Cologne. Rankin still looking for a foul. Shan, Cologne for three, good! Don't let him heat up, Bridgeport. He'll burn you. Shan almost takes it away, but his foot was on the sideline. like they're going to reset the clock. Actually, they reset the shot clock, but now they're going to drop it down to 27. Abbas, nice move in the paint, scores over top of Cologne. Abbas is first from the field. Remember, he averages 11 per game. Shand tries to reverse it, can't get it there. Cologne gets the board. Excuse me, Adams gets the board. They'll call a walk. They're trying to say that's a jump ball as both guys had control of it, but to no avail. Adams was trying to clear space and looked like Bridgeport definitely had a hand on the ball. When he cleared the space, he ended up walking. Down the lane, a lot of contact and Abbas will go to the line as Adams picks up the foul, and that'll take us to the media timeout. UDC leading by 10, with plenty of time left to go in this game. At the University of the District of Columbia, the entire city is our campus, from the new community college and workforce development programs to the extension services and more, the university is active in every ward of the city, educating and enriching the lives of students, neighbors, and stakeholders. For more information, visit the UDC website at www.udc.edu.
misidentify one of the players, Floyd Prieto, out there, number three for Bridgeport, not Pavon Sanchez. As Abbas shoots two and makes the first. Also out there, as I mentioned, Abbas, pitcher Mendy, also Middleton, and Rankin. So now an eight point game. And here comes the pressure for Bridgeport. Kirkwood back out there along with Shand, Cologne, Cox and Smith. Cologne gonna take the three in transition, no good. Smith kept it alive and now Cologne will slow it down. He knows it's like a quicker three again. He's got the green light because he's so good, but hey guys, let's run some clock here. Shan almost has it taken away. Now Cox for three, good. Kevin Cox, third three of the game, and back to an 11 point advantage. It's a great offensive possession for UDC on that last one. Cox got three fouls, gotta be careful. Prieto dishes, Abbas almost walked with it. Now Shan ties him up. Possession arrow keeps it with Bridgeport. And they got the transition look for Cologne. Didn't go down. Smith with a tap to keep it alive. And then Cologne, who ended up with it, he said, hey, guys, let's slow it down, get back up to the point, and run our offense. Lob in. Abba scores. And a chance for the three-point play. UDC just fell asleep. Angle for the lob, and it goes down, and Smith commits the foul. That's his fourth, so that's big. And he's been a big part of this game for UDC. See Bridgeport again, keeping that pressure on against the smaller UDC guards. Alone, floater in the lane, doesn't fall. Hittermendi with the board. Right now, Bridgeport with a bucket can get a lot closer than they've been in a while. Abbas takes the three, no good. Cox somehow with the rebound and Abbas commits the foul. Saw he was going to miss it, came rushing in, and Cox just showing off again. That leaping ability just hung in the air. Abbas goes to the bench with his third foul, but Cox almost jumped too early, just was able to hang there long enough and get that board, and then Abbas runs over him. Kirkwood almost loses it but gets it across safely. And now again, UDC has been pretty methodical today when it comes to their offense. Cologne dishes it back to Kirkwood. He'll take the foul line jumper and hit. Wow, Kerry Kirkwood. It's a good play by Cologne, but a lot of guys would have been thrown off by that. Kirkwood was ready for the pass and his three point shooting teammate got him a look. Rankin takes the open three and it's good. And a timeout for Bridgeport. Rankin's first three of the game, and we are down to a seven-point contest. Thirty-second timeout by Mike Ruan in his 19th season at Bridgeport. Ruan doesn't look like he would have been here for 19 years, but again, he... Uh, Doing some good things with this Bridgeport team. And again, they like to press you. Already on the season. They have six, excuse me, seven 100 point games. A couple close ones and losses too. 97 against both St. Thomas Aquinas and Malloy. Today, they've been forced to play at a 
much slower pace. And UDC has done a good job, but still nine and a half minutes to go, so a long way in this one. Kirkwood finds Olakani, who almost walked, may have. Olakani stuck, gets it back out. Kirkwood takes the quick three, but he hits it. Disaster averted a few times, maybe with the help of a missed call by the referee. His entire Bridgeport team thought that Olakani shuffled his feet, but UDC gets the benefit of the call. Rankin in and backs down Cologne and gets the bucket. Cox takes it in as it knocked away. And again, a little too quick there. Too much traffic. Cox, though, back into the play. Almost takes it away. Olakani almost takes it away. Almost a double dribble. It didn't get called. Euro step doesn't go. Cox with the board. Up. No good, but he's fouled. Caban Sanchez commits it. Wild sequence there is... Turnover, turnover. Only a couple missed calls, but now UDC has Cox at the line with a chance to give him a 10 point lead back, and he hits the first. Cox out of Grenada. 24 points for UDC. And their big win over LIU Post hits the second. Cox now with 12, and the lead back to 10 for the Firebirds. Green working on Cologne, and that's going to be the seventh team foul on UDC, so that'll be a one and one for Dennis Green, just a 70% free throw shooter on the season, but had a nice night at the charity stripe so far today. He's five of five. Green looking better, maybe got some work from the trainer. That'll go down. Yeah, he was really laboring early in the second half. He's been uh, a little bit better since coming back in. Green gets the second. And Green will come back out and run, making the motion to him. Just going to keep you rolling in and out. Probably going to get him right back in next media timeout. Olakani takes it in, misses the shot. If you're going to go there, you got to make the shot. And now a foul call in the backcourt on Olakani. That'll take us to the media timeout as Bridgeport of a chance to shoot from the line. Cut into this lead even more as Olakani picks up his third. 68-60. UDC up on Bridgeport with 7.54 left to go in regulation. University of the District of Columbia is the only public university in the nation's capital and the only urban land grant university in the United States. UDC is comprised of UDC Community College, School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, School of Business and Public Administration, College of Arts and Sciences, College of Agriculture, Urban Sustainability and Environmental Sciences, and the David A. Clark School of Law. Elsewhere in the ECC tonight. One final already as Queens beats NYIT 74 to 64. 
mercy up on St. Thomas Aquinas on the road, 44 to 38. That'd be a big win for the Mavericks. They're at four and five in conference play. Aquinas at seven and two. Damon and Malloy actually tied for the lead at eight and one. The Roberts Wesley and Bridgeport both at five and four. And that one goes down for Rankin. It'd be a nice win tonight for UD. See if they can pull this one off. Help get themselves back into contention for the ECC playoffs. As Rankin hits two, and here comes the pressure again. Question now is, will this pressure wear down UDC in the end of the game? We saw it in the last home game for the Firebirds as Olakani dribbles it out of bounds. And that's the type of mistake you get when you're going against pressure. And Olakani just playing too fast right now. We saw it against Malloy. UDC came back from a huge deficit to tie the game for the game where the buzzer for the Lions. But pressure over time just mentally fatigues you. Stolen away. Cox tries to come away with it. Eventually, Kirkwood does. A good double team on Abbas takes it away. And Firebirds could really use a bucket here. This lead's starting to get a little too close for comfort for them. Let's see if the Firebirds get some dribble penetration going here. Good cut, but not there as Von Sanchez took it away in score and a chance for a three-point play for Rankin. Right now, Rankin can make this a one possession game with a make. Mike Riley gonna take one of his three timeouts, calm his team down and maybe get them a blow as we talked about it before, that type of pace, even though they really controlled it against Bridgeport today, can wear you down. He's trying to beat that pressure every single time down and some untimely fouls for the Firebirds late in the going here. And Mike Riley in on one knee just trying to get his guys back focused on this game as it is a game again. Firebirds could never really get it over 12 points. And now their advantage down to four and could be Three very soon. Rankin hits this foul shot. The University of the District of Columbia extends beyond its campus footprint, offering easy access to world famous monuments, political intrigue, and cultural attractions everywhere you look. Education at UDC opens doors to opportunities that can only be found in the nation's capital. For more information, visit the UDC website at www.udc.edu. Middleton, excuse me, with the bucket. Hits the free throw. Again, Bridgeport putting that pressure on and now Ruan will send his guys back. Shan might have got away with a step, and instead, it'll be a foul as it goes on Iqbal. Marcus Iqbal, the senior out of Staten Island, New York, to Kingsboro Community College. Shan with a one and one here. I'm going to call that with a shooting foul, excuse me. Well, they might have given it to him on the floor. But instead, Shan misses the second, batted around. Shan gets the rebound. Wow, Kirkwood, 4 3. Good! And 
now Olakani's gonna pick up a foul. Kirkwood with the three. They haven't credited this yet, so maybe that was a warning instead of a foul. Olakani's given too many fouls in the backcourt. Here's a three-pointer, that's off. And there's Zach with the rebound. That was a warning. And saw Terrell Stokes off the bench after one of the fouls in the backcourt, just saying you can't give that up. Back out to the top, still plenty of time on the shot clock. Kirkwood thought about it, instead keeps the dribble going. Olakani, foul line jumper, goes. Olakani now with 16 points. Lead back to nine. Pabon Sanchez takes it in. Kirkwood thought he had the tie up. Instead, he gives the foul. So now 10 team fouls on UDC. Second foul on Kirkwood. So Bridgeport will be shooting two the rest of the way. Von Sanchez nets it. He's an 81% free throw shooter. That's his first point of this game. Second for Pabon Sanchez. Short. Knocked away, though, from behind. Shot up no good, and Shan gets the board. So UDC... Dodged the bullet right there as the heads up play by Middleton didn't lead to points. And now a foul down low. That's on Middleton. That's his third. Here's a big situation here. Olakani on the season, 68% free throw shooter. He's two for three today. Still a one and one. The last one and one for UDC today. And Olakani with the first. Seen him struggle at the line in some key spots this year, but has looked good today from the charity stripe. He now has 18 points. The lead back to 10 for UDC. Travis Robinson Morgan back in. Olakani with the steal. Takes it in, and he scores. And does he have a foul too? A foul as well. Abbas just saying, what did I do? But the official gets him. Abbas with his fourth foul. Olakani with his 20th point. To make it 21. And a 13 point game if he sticks the free throw. He does. Intermendi can't hit the free throw, but a foul is called, and I think. See, this is on. It's going to be on Truesdale, so that's good news for UDC. Just a second on Quadir. Some of the other guys on the floor right now. Olakani currently playing with four. Same for Aaron Smith. We haven't seen. Would think he'll come back at the media timeout. Now it's Itermendi. Knocks that one down. Right now, stats have Olakani with four fouls. Another big rebound. Well, Mike Riley knows that. I think he might have put him on the bench until the next media timeout, but again, he's really helping things along right now. Off to Shan. Truesdale barely got rid of that one. Shan in the lane, puts it up, no good. Olakani with the board, got to get it back up, take it away. 
Pass ahead. Abbas stuck, kicks it out. Look from three off the side of the backboard. Abbas can't get the put back. Another chance. That one goes down for Middleton. Bridgeport crashing the boards. Got to get it in. Calls the timeout just before the five-second call. Now UDC down to just one timeout. Shand had no one, so he took the timeout just in time. I believe that's going to take us to our media timeout. Ten-point lead for UDC with 4.08 left to go. Since opening its doors in 2009, the University of the District of Columbia Community College continuously affirms its mission to provide opportunities for students to obtain the requisite skills of today's workforce and to prepare them for the demands of tomorrow. For more information, visit the UDC website at www.udc.edu. Four eight left to go. UDC with a shot at a very big win. Helped turn their season around after some crushing defeats. Zachary Olakani, 21 points and 11 rebounds, a double-double. Kevin Cox, his own double-double, 12 and 10. But Olakani's got four fouls. Kerry Kirkwood, 14 points. Aaron Smith has 13. Dennis Green leads Bridgeport with 18. Eric Rankin with 17. John Middleton has 10. Shan, got to hurry and get it across the timeline. He does, just in time. Olakani has it taken away. Pushed forward, Abbas can't come up with it cleanly. He'll have to kick it back out. And Olakani just playing a little too fast today, even though he scored well as Intermendi with the bucket. Got to get it in. He does. Olakani gets fouled. Middleton, don't know what he was doing. Mike Riley, I think, maybe telling Olakani, hey, man, just slow down. Take that one dribble. Go ahead. Pick it up. You don't have to be constantly going to the bucket. We have the lead. The guards, those three, one, two, three, and Truesdale, Shannon, Kirk would have done such a good job today controlling the tempo as Olakani knocks down that free throw. They just really haven't got sped up. Some of the bigs have, but those three guys have just done a great job today of you know pulling it back. Cologne did it as well a few times. Olakani hits them both. Now has 23 points, the lead back to 10 with three and a half to go. Robinson Morgan pulls up, no good. Gets his own rebound, and a foul will be called on Shand. So Shand picks it up. His second, again, gives Bridgeport a chance to score with the clock stop. Robinson Morgan, a 79% free throw shooter, rattles that one home. He struggled with foul trouble all day. And gets that one to go. So Robinson Morgan has five, lead down to eight. Shan got to find a friendly, gets it into Truesdale. Now back over to Kirkwood. Now, Ruan just, these guys play solid defense. Olakani almost dribbles it away. Truesdale splits the double team, scoops it in, and a foul down low on Bridgeport, bit of a bailout. It's right now. 
UDC just getting a little too antsy when it comes to the ball. Habon Sanchez picks it up. As Truesdale heads to the line, 71% free throw shooter. Truesdale hits. Right now, UDC 17 of 23 at the charity stripe, so that's great. 74%. Hit some big ones here down the stretch. Truesdale's second goes as well. He now has 10. Lead back to 10. Three-pointer Abbas, that's off. Olakani gets it. And now, smartly, he'll pull it back, we think. And he does. Shand. Truesdale off the curl. Keeps the dribble alive. Back out, Shan takes the three. Off the iron, no good. Rebound, but UDC able to run some clock. Haban Sanchez spins, has it blocked, but they call Truesdale. Mm. Looks like he got an awful lot of ball on that one. Haban Sanchez dipped it down, and even though Quadir was off his pins, still got a hand on it, but Sanchez draws the foul. Now back under double digits. 219 left to go. Still a long way in this game, especially against a team who knows how to press and press well. A little more pressure. Again, this trio of guards really helping out UDC right now. Truesdale dribbles through, and they're fighting the urge to take it into the bucket when they have numbers. Just trying to run some clock, hit a big bucket late. Kirkwood will take the three. Good! Kerry Kirkwood smiles at the bench. Rankin with the reverse, no good. Tap back though, gives it back to Bridgeport. Robinson Morgan. And a block caught on Olakani, and that's gonna be his fifth. Wow. Looks like Robinson Morgan almost traveled, but instead it ends up putting UDC's top scorer on the bench. Actually, no, so excuse me, folks. Stats were wrong. That is gonna be the fourth foul on Olakani. They had him with four in the game stats. Robinson Morgan hits the first free throw. Second one goes as well for the sophomore guard out of Elmont, New York. Wild pass up ahead. Olakani will take it in. He gets fouled. And let's see what they call on this. They're going to just say a common foul. That could have very easily been a flagrant. As Abbas picks it up. And that's going to be his fifth. And the buzzer finally goes off. And that's going to be five on... Hashem Abbas. He'll check out. Olakani goes to the line. Trying to make this a double digit game once again. Can't hit it. Lacani rattles that one home. He now has 24, lead back to 10. Robinson Morgan dribbles it in, gets contact, no foul. 
Right now, UDC's got to do a better job of staying in front. Olakani dribbles it out of pressure. Truesdale to a safe spot. Comes the trap. Olakani doesn't go for the bait. Kicks it back out. Lazy pass by Truesdale, almost stole by Robinson Morgan. Got to watch the off arm if you're Shan. Olakani in, gets it to go. So they take clock down and then score. Stripped away by Shand, and good call by the official there as Rankin was standing out of bounds when he touched the ball. That makes it an automatic turnover to UDC. Thought he didn't see it at first. Shand's got to get it in. Gets it to Olakani, down the other way. He'll pull it back, cross-court pass. Let's see if Bridgeport, I think Bridgeport's going to pull off the dogs. Shan pulls it back. Thought they might go for it with all the pressure they put on, but it looks like Mike Ruan waving the white flag in this one. And what a win for UDC after being blown out up in Connecticut as Truesdale scores the bucket. Really lost control of the game in the last five minutes. This time, UDC up to the challenge late. As they took a lead and held on to it pretty much all the game. Stolen away, but that won't matter as UDC snaps their four-game losing streak as they avenge... An earlier loss to Bridgeport with a 91 to 81 victory. What a win for Mike Riley's crew. Again, a win that they needed to really stay in shouting distance and contention when it comes to a possible ECC playoff berth. They get it right here. 91 to 81. Final stats in this one. Zach Olakani with 26 and 12 rebounds. What a double double for him. Kerry Kirkwood had 17. Aaron Smith 13. But here, Truesdale, Kevin Cox with 12 apiece, Cox with 10 rebounds. As for Bridgeport, Eric Rankin, 19 points, Dennis Green at 18, John Middleton with 10, while Travis Robinson Morgan had nine. Quick look at the upcoming schedule for UDC. They'll be in action again on the road at Mercy. That'll be this Saturday, three more road games, three road games swing. LIU Post next Thursday, then next Saturday, NYIT before the... Firebirds start a three-game homestand against St. Thomas Aquinas on Wednesday the 13th, followed by games against Roberts Wesleyan and Damon. For everyone who's brought you this broadcast today, I'm Jeremy Huber saying goodbye from our nation's capital. Good one for both the UDC teams. They both win. The men taking the victory over Bridgeport 91-81. to Good afternoon, everybody.